New Mexico Tech started its support of commercial space in 1997 with a contract through the Air Force Research Lab to test liquid fuel rocket engines. Shown here is a 2001 test of an ignition system. Now, all types of rocket engines from solid fuel flight testing of innovative propellants in collaboration with Los Alamos to novel propellants such as nitrous oxide and ethanol. Yes, laughing gas and Everclear. This work is done in collaboration with Sandia National Labs. And recently, New Mexico Tech started working with a small business through an SBIR to develop 3D printing techniques for solid fuels. Shown here is a small amount of fuel that demonstrates the capability of a 3D printed fuel. From the lab bench to the launch pad and beyond, New Mexico Tech students are involved in space technology applications. In 2019, students designed, built, and launched payloads that evaluate the structural integrity of spacecraft in real time. Flights from Spaceport America were used to develop the structural health monitoring payload. Pictured here is a test specimen used to calibrate the instrument. This work culminated with a payload launch as part of the International Space Station resupply mission this past November. The instrument will orbit the Earth until it is installed in the ISS in early 2020. New Mexico Tech students have competed in the Experimental Sounding Rocket Association competition. And in 2014, the New Mexico Tech team won the altitude competition in Green River, Utah. Now, this team is focused on supporting White Sands Research and Developers, a small business in Las Cruces to develop rockets and payloads. Shown here is a recent launch from Spaceport America. followed by a, the equally important landing of the payload. And finally, once your payload is in orbit, New Mexico Tech can keep track of it. The 2.4 meter telescope at the Magdalene Ridge Observatory was designed to track and monitor objects launched into near Earth orbit. Here is a tracking of a NASA black branded rocket as it emerges from the clouds over Wismer. The telescope inverts the image so it appears to be headed down. Now, we show a slow motion clip with the image flipped. Nothing is too small to track. In 2008, while on an EAV, an astronaut lost control of a tool belt. The tool belt drifted away from the International Space Station and orbited the Earth for a few months before it burned up on re-entry. The 2.4 meter telescope and MRO could easily track this piece of space debris. Bigger objects can be imaged as well as tracked. This is an image of the International Space Station taken with a 2.4 meter telescope. This image was taken without adaptive optics. From the lab bench to the launch pad to orbit. New Mexico Tech is at the forefront of space technologies.